Today we have a charcuterie board of fishing baits and I'm going to be showing you how to hook up each one of these baits and how to use each one of these baits. Oh my god! I don't want to lose all my line! Hey, 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 hey. Did I get tan? Okay, well, we've been fishing here for like, what, four or five days now? <laughs> it's been hot. These are a lot of my favorite baits that we're going to be using on the surf today. We've got clam, we've got spot, we've got mullet, we've got shrimp, and we've got squid. There is a special way to hook each one of these kinds of bait on and it's, it's a matter of presenting it in a way where it looks really nice and it makes the fish want to eat it. Presentation definitely does matter. Mom! I'm here with my mom and dad. They're both here fishing. And we're on a, a fishing camping vacation. <laughs> and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show my mom how to set up some of these baits. Okay, are you excited? They look good for dinner. They look good for dinner. They make a dish. Well, here's the thing. A good general rule is if if you're willing to eat it, a fish is definitely willing to eat it because ah, it has to be fresh. Okay. Fish like well, fresh baits. Okay, I'm not so sure that's a compliment. Thank you. I do have very fresh baits. That's why I catch lots of fish. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to cut up each one of these. What, what do you think this one is? Clam. A shrimp. A fish with a spot. What is the fish called? Spot. Wow. Oh. Duh. Okay. That's the squid. Right? Squid? That's another fish. What kind is it called? Mullet. Whoa! 100%. Alright, so which one should we start with first? Mullet. Mullet. Okay, so this is a jumbo mullet. And there's many ways you can fish this. I'm going to show you how to cut it up for hooks like this. But what we're going to do is just fillet this out like this. Now I'm going to cut it in half, and then these are the ribs right here, so I'm going to cut like this with the ribs, and that's a piece right there. But honestly, I like this piece better, which is the shoulder. So now we're going to get the hook, and to put it through, we're just going to push it through like this, through the skin one time just like that and that's already baited up now okay so I, d I usually like to put multiple kinds of bait on not just one at a time what else do we want to do with it let's do a shrimp okay so a shrimp now I'm gonna cut the head off peel this off some people like to leave the skin on sometimes I like to do that I think taking it off it's easier to put on the hook and I'm gonna cut it up in half how do you know how big you need to cut it. Like, so, if it's smaller hooks, I cut smaller. If it's smaller hook, you cut it smaller. You want it to be just so that it can fit in oh, once through like okay, this. Okay, okay, I see what you're saying. All right. See? That makes sense. Okay. Just like that. All right. And you don't want the hook to be hidden. You want okay. it to be showing still. That's helpful. Okay, so now this one is done. But I like to add one more piece, which I'm going to use is the clam. Okay. I like to cut this into strips. I don't put the whole thing on. I just put a little strip like this. Okay? That adds color so that they can see a nice color. It smells good too. They like clams. And it's nice and tough so it stays on. So we're going to put it on like this. Wow. Just like that. And that's what it looks like. Like seafood gumbo. Like seafood gumbo? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can use this yeah. one. This is not, this oh, is not gross. It's just a clam. I salted this. Use where? On this one. Put it through the hook. Okay, what if you hook my finger? Don't hook your finger. Mm. Just put it through there. Okay. This way? Just, just like that, that. yep. Oh, yeah. Like this? Yep. Uh, I just touched it. Just like that. Okay. Okay? So that one's done. Now let's bait up this next one. 
So I showed you how to cut the clams. If I were to put the whole clam on, I'll fold it in half just like this. And then I'll put it on like this. Is it clam salted? Yes. Is it oh. Okay. This is our salted clams that so we just started doing, then. yeah. Okay, next one we're gonna do is, let's do a spot next, okay? Now either we can do it steak style, let me show you steak style. This is steak style, right? Oh, just cut through the bones. Cut through the bones uh -huh. and hook this on like that. Or you can fillet it. See that? And then we take the head. This is good bait, just the head. And also, this is good bait if we cut it up like this. Okay? So let's put on this with squid. Here we have the tentacles, which I could just take a tentacle off like this and add that on. Or we have the mantle right here, which you can cut into whatever shape you want. Like that. Cut it in half. Let's make it a triangle shape like that. Because in the surf it'll go, it'll wave in the water like this. That's salted too, right? This That's is also salted. our, yeah, this is our salted, okay. salted squid. it looks squid. tougher than normal squid that I cook with. Yes, it is way tougher because it's salted. When you salt the baits, it preserves it for longer so you don't have to keep it on ice all the time. Um, and it's also tougher so that when fish bite it, it won't come off the hook as easy. So you can cut it, the mantle into shapes like this. Oh. And shapes like this. This looks like little people. Like a what? Little people. Like a little people? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's put these on the hook now. So spot. Put on once like that. And then I'm going to put on some squid like that too. Okay, now we just wait by our rods and see what bites. You on? I don't think so. One of these are not circle hooks, so I forgot I had to I had to set one of them and I had to not set the other. This one I had to set the hook. Oh yeah, it already got bitten up. See that? Bluefish. But the squid stays on, whereas the mullet is already gone. That's why I like the toughness of this. Clams, the salted clams. This is gonna be good bait, this is gonna be good eating. We'll decide later. Something tiny was going after that. What is that? Oh, it's a nice little whiting. We can put this whole thing on a hook. I'm gonna put him in the bait box.
Found a flounder. And it hit so subtly. I hardly knew there was anything on it. It was just like, it just tapped it a couple of times. I mean, it's definitely too small and out of season. So we gotta throw them back. A lot of people wonder, how can you tell that a fish is biting your line? It's, especially beginners, they don't really know how to tell when a fish is biting a line or if it's just a wave. My best answer for that is you can tell, you can't always tell 100% if it's a little fish or a wave, but you can tell by looking at the wave pattern and then looking at your rod. If it's, if it's going swaying back and forth, nothing out of the ordinary, and then all of a sudden it goes That's most likely a fish. If a big wave crashes and hits your, your line out there and it goes, that's probably the wave hitting it. So it also could be a fish hitting it. So what I like to do is watch it hit and after the wave is gone, if it's still moving, then that's a fish. That's my way of indicating if there's a fish or not. Ooh, that's a nice blue fish. A really good eating size one too. Good size, but I got so much fish right now, I'm gonna let them all go. Pretty much bluefish will eat any kind of bait, but if you have a certain kind of bait, you can expect to attract a certain kind of fish. For example, clams. I think of black drum and, and also regular kind of drum. Pompano. Uh, pompano, love clams. Shrimp, I think trout will hit a shrimp, but not necessarily like, actually pretty much anything will hit a shrimp. Not a striped bass. Ew, yeah, striped bass too. Striped, striped bass, bass hit shrimp. Pretty much everything eats shrimp. Um, I think shrimp is a very good universal bait in general. I'm going to show you how to put the spot on now, the spot head. Okay, for the spot head now, or really any big fish head you want to use, any kind of bait fish head you want to use, I have a nice big hook on here. It's for a fish finder rig. Typically, fish finder rigs you can throw out big baits like this, like a big head. And I just hook it right through like this, under the lip. Just through like that. And I'm gonna cast this guy out far. Hey, hey, hey! Brendan! God. He's gonna, you're gonna lose the line. Oh my god! I think it's the shark. The shark! Oh I don't wanna lose all my line! So you gotta pop him. Oh my god! <laughs> He's the ball, I felt it! Okay. I got him! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Stop talking. never know what you got. Life is like the box of chocolate. Oh my god. Come on, come on! Don't pop it! Oh. Okay, well, we're gonna have to work in rotations here. Oh my god! Gosh! Oh, he's pulling! Oh. I got him! <laughs> so we have a huge spot head on this one. And there's a big fish on the end of the line. Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go together! Let's go together! Oh yeah! I got you. Hold him, hold him! Running all the way down. Let me tighten the guide a little bit. Go. Aaron, your turn. Come here. Give it a try. Give it a try. Put your hand. Just keep there. A little bit, and then when it's just slow, kind of slowing down. Or okay. Keep one hand up here. Run with it. Up here. Up higher. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. We got a workhorse reel on there, so. If the side, if the side take off, you let it let go. Okay. Yeah. Now, oh, there you that. go, Aaron. It's coming. That for the last 30 minutes. Good luck. That's what I had to do. <laughs> he, he left her. Oh, he's just, it's all you, Aaron. I can't. Uh, he's barely hey, moving, he, huh? He's leaving. Oh my gosh, he's out. He said, I'm out. He bye. said, bye. I'm, I'm here for rotation if you need. Okay. Oh, it's going again. Oh, there it goes. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'll fix the glasses. That's all I can do. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, you want to hand it to my mom then? No! Hold on. Look at everyone's oh talking god. about you. Oh my Whoa, god! Good job! Doing the damn limbo! Aaron, come on, you got it! <laughs> I don't got it! She's tired! I, you need your, your strength later, too. That should work hey, out. Now, hold on, can I make you feel those skin too much? It gives them an energy to the yaw, man. I'm so tired! Get up! It's running, it's running! Oh, you got a oh my gosh! <laughs> so swift! Oh my gosh, there's literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. How much line do you have left? Half a spool. Thing is so strong. Isn't it tired? He said not even a little bit. Are you getting any any leverage? It's coming in, it's coming in. Coming in slowly but surely. It's slowly but surely coming in. Here comes it. your backup. Ready? Have fun. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Don't lose it. Gotta see what this thing is. Oh, I heard my leg is cracking. I don't know the drag cracking or my knees cracking. This thing must. Because how could this be a ray? That was a big it's head. A star. Maybe something else. Oh no, the tuna. Oh. oh my gosh! Could you imagine you got a tuna off the ship? Uh. Well, it should be a merman, a mermaid. All I know is this thing is stronger than Daniel. Hey, <laughs> Pompeo. No, my leg cracked. I told you. Your legs are cracking. My knee. Do you need right, help? Let me do it. I think Aaron wants to try. Okay. All right, go on. I'm here. Back up. Okay. We gotta move it in. We gotta bring it in. It's right in the first drop. You see him in the first drop? Yeah. It's coming in. Do you see him? Ah! Don't shoot. <laughs> okay. Almost. Let it fight here. Let it fight here for a second. Oh my gosh, don't Let's pop see. this. I oh know, you want to take over? No. <laughs> no, I mean, let's pop this pop. No, do? I want to see this. Holy moly! Oh, it's a fin, I see a fin. It's a fin? You see a fin out there? Yeah, I saw a fin. I saw a fin? Yeah. Can you imagine it's a red drum? Oh my god. No, that's not possible. No way. That's not, it's not a red drum. It might have been. Oh, Brendan, 
You want to take it? Yeah. Okay. My boss, I got it. It's on the sand, so oh, you can Yeah, it was stuck in that first trough forever. Yeah. So what do we have to do? We gotta go in the water and grab the tail. That's what I was trying to do, but don't worry, oh my. Don't worry, man. It's not gonna be the first for you. That was close! It was so close! You cannot get them in, but then not with your line. Not with that line, you can't get them in. You remember, you only see you oh only God. see you there was a lot of you only see the leader though. line on that section there for so long you couldn't get them in, right? Remember that? And then the next thing you look at the top. I said I do not want to do that again. I don't like playing with sharks like that. Well you know it's not you wanna do it with a shark. The shark is out of you. The shark will eat you your bait. You know. Alright, now you need to take a nap. What is it? What is it the 30, 30 pound test? 20 pound test! 20 pound. It snapped right at the brake. Yeah, I know. I'm telling you, you this is not strong enough. Well, you didn't expect a shark that big to cut get on no, the line, yeah, right? No, I, I'm suspicious you can't get them in because they roll on the sand. Doesn't have, I think they have a bar there, right? Oh, so he got right. stuck And then they got right? stuck in there. Yeah, we couldn't get him over that. Yeah, you cannot get over that. Bump. You have to walk into the water and pull them out. Like I that. have to go in there and grab the tail. You gotta keep telling me. We're careful that it will bite you. I say, oh yeah. I am, because what if it, it does bite, bite you? you. Yeah, it's, not it does. it's not worth I, it. If, I would have just cut the line, honestly. Yeah. All that excitement, all that adrenaline, now I'm so tired. I'm done fishing for a second. I gotta take a break. <laughs> <laughs> well, not if that wasn't a 150, 200 pound shark, no. It must have been a 100 pound shark, right? Uh, big. That I mean, thing was over six than foot me. long. That thing was over six foot long for sure. That was and a then, huge um, one. But listen, you have. Ooh, uh, thank you. Thanks, mom. You have a twenty pound main line. Yeah. The break, you're twenty pound. Well, but that that's a miracle, so it is, as it is that you can bring it that in, that far in. You are fighting for thirty minutes, they get it in with, with a twenty it was pound. Four pass. people fighting for a total of thirty some minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we had a crowd too, you know that? Yeah, I said no way. I'm not I'm I'm not gonna be part of this because I've been through that before. I mean, no. <laughs> We're all doing well. Yeah, we all did a great job. Especially Erin. Oh oh I didn't girl. know she was so sparky like that. Girl. <laughs> you makes me shame of myself. <laughs> I couldn't even crank once. My fingers were hurting me. You can't. So you gotta bring it up. Heavy. I know, crank, but crank, then crank. I, I got a bad back, you know. I, I shouldn't You don't you have you the back, you your leg. Yeah. You gotta and squat then I'm into pop it. My knee. Yeah. I don't know, you heard, you heard of popping? Oh. <laughs> oh, crazy, huh? Your knees are popping, yeah. right? Yeah, oh, not bad. <laughs> but so I say, but I say, no, uh, give, give it to me, give it to me. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. like, no, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> oh my gosh, my arm is so tired from that. How's your arm feeling, Aaron? I'm actually really tired. Like, <laughs> holding up this camera is... I did not expect to hit such a big shark on, on my, on that setup right there. Like, 
I'm not set up for big shark. I'm set up for big drum, but a shark hit it. I, I can't believe I got it in so close. That was like 30 minutes of fighting and then just to have me snapped off at that first sandbar. Well, that's fishing. Here at Hay Skipper, we want to help you get on fish. We do this by shooting tutorials like this. And we also write a lot of books about how to use baits, how to tie up surf rigs, how to tie up different rigs, how to use different knots. And I publish all of this on our website, hayskipperfishing.com. And if you want to learn more about fishing or you're just getting into fishing, or you just want to hear more fishing knowledge, check out our website. We've got tons of free stuff and we've got tons of other content that you can, you can read and learn more about. It's all in one place, hayskipperfishing.com. Thank you all and I'll see you next week.